With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, students. I'm your teacher for this question, and the question is a 150 ml of iodine is divided into two unequal parts. First part reacts with the hypo solution in acidic medium. 15 ml of the 0.4 molar hypo was consumed. Second part was added with 100 ml of 0.3 molar NH solution and the residual base required 10 ml of 0.3 molar H2SO4 solution for complete neutralization. So what was the initial concentration of iodine? So in this question it is given that a 150 ml of solution of iodine which is divided into two equal parts first part is reacted with the hypo solution and second part is reacted with the NH solution and NH residual NH was reacted with this amount of H2SO4 neutralization so we have to calculate the initial concentration of iodine and given are the options we have to choose the correct option among them so we will see when iodine the first part reacts with the hypo solution the reaction would be i2 plus na2s2o3 in acidic medium it will form nai and na2s4o6 so it is given that 15 ml of 0.4 molar hypo was consumed so we can say the number of moles of hypo solution consumed would be or we can say millimoles millimoles of hypo solution that is Na2S2O3 solution consumed would be these can be calculated by using the volume and concentration as molarity is equal to number of moles of solute upon volume of solution in liter now we have been given molarity and volume so we can calculate moles of solute by multiplying molarity with volume now as the volume is given in milliliters so the number of moles uh, instead of number of moles we will get the millimoles so its volume is 15 ml into 0.5 0.4 molar so this will give us 6 millimoles 6 millimoles of hypo solution was consumed and it is and this is balanced by this so so this is a balanced reaction it means if one mole of iodine is consumed two moles of hypo solution was consumed now we have the millimoles of hypo solution consumed we can have the millimoles of iodine consumed that would be half of the millimoles of hypo solution so we can say millimoles of iodine consumed would be 3 millimoles as they are in 1 is to 2 stoichiometry so millimoles will iodine will be half of the hypo solution now when the second part was reacted with the nh the reaction would be the disproportionation of iodine will occur that is i2 plus nh it will form nai and naio3 plus water so this is the this is the balanced reaction when i2 reacts with nh it means its disproportionation occurs now for this nh consumed is 100 ml of 0.3 molar nh and it is said that the residual base was required 10 ml of 0.3 molar h2so for complete neutralization so we can calculate the moles of iodine reacted with nh so it would be millimoles of i2 reacted with nh these can be calculated these are the millimoles of nh total number of millimoles of nh and these number of millimoles are required for the neutralization of base so these should be subtracted from this so we can say the millimoles of nh are total it's given volume is given 100 ml and concentration is 0.3 similarly we have calculated above as the millimoles by multiplying molarity with volume these are the millimoles minus 
the millimoles of H2SO4 consumed for the neutralization of this base they were 10 ml into 0.3 so it would be 10 into 0.3 into 2 2 is the n factor of the H2SO4 as H2SO4 it will give 2H plus or SO4 2 minus ions so the charge on the ion or cation is plus 2 so the n factor is here 2 so this will give us and this is divided by 2 because these are in 1 is to 2 stoichiometry if 3 moles if 6 moles of iode NaOH react with 3 moles of I2 so it 1 mole will react with 3 by 6 I2 that is half mole of I2 it means half mole of I2 will be there so this will give us 100 into 0.3 this will give us 30 minus this will give us 6 by 2 that will give us 24 by 2 that is 12 millimoles now we have the total millimoles of iodine that is millimoles of iodine which are consumed when it react with hypo solution is 3 millimoles and millimoles of iodine which react with NOH are 12 millimoles so the total millimoles of iodine would be total millimoles of I2 consumed will be 3 plus 12 that is 15 millimoles now in the question it is asked the what is the initial concentration of iodine it means its molarity is asked and we have the total volume of this solution as 150 ml and we have calculated the number of moles or millimoles here so we can calculate the molarity or concentration using this formula so the concentration or molarity of I2 would be molarity of I2 would be its number of moles and these are 15 millimoles which is equal to 15 into 10 raised to power minus 3 moles or simply we can remain this in millimoles because our volume is milliliter so milli will be cancelled by milli so 15 upon total volume of solution is 150 ml so these this is millimole and this is in milliliter so milli will be cancelled by milli and this is in mole per liter we will get the answer it is 0 0.1 mole per liter and mole per liter is molar solution so the molarity of I2 is I2 solution is 0 0.1 molar so this is the correct option that is 0 0.1 molar so I hope you understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 ITJ and NEET level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.